Well, that didn't age well. Hi everyone, it's been a while. Just figured I'd give an update on what's going on with the channel as of late, considering, you know, my last big video was back in January. Also, for anyone who's going to ask in the comment section, I got a new microphone. So if you're hearing weird echoing in the background, that's why. So I guess the first question on everyone's mind is, when is This Is How You Don't Play Skyward Sword Part 2? Short answer, it's not dead, it's still coming. Long answer, uh, I don't know when it will be out. I know I promised a summer 2019 release date, but obviously that didn't pan out. And that was due to two factors. One was that I just didn't feel the motivation to make it, and the second was that when I did feel the motivation to make it, there was just, there was, there was so much, just, guys, there was, there was so much to go through. There is, there is so much. So right now, I guess you could say it's on hiatus while I work on other bigger projects that I've wanted to for a while now. What projects, you may ask? Well, that actually segues into the second question. Where are all the other videos? So far, I've promised fully coolly progressive retrospective, everything wrong with Star vs. The Forces of Evil Battle for Muni Part 2, a video for a series that's probably not even going to happen at this rate, and much, much more. I do plan on finishing every single one of these projects, it's just that several real-life factors like college, work, and trying to extend my career path outside of YouTube have gotten in the way of actually getting these projects done. Point blank, I don't want to do YouTube forever. I never planned for this to be a full-time career. However, since I've started, a lot of you seem to enjoy the content that I've made thus far. Granted, a lot of the projects aren't exactly fulfilling, creatively at least, and to be honest, that's kind of the reason why I've stepped away from doing YouTube for a while. I've been working on other projects, like comics and artwork. Hell, I've also been in other friend groups just discussing video topics and stuff that I'd like to do, but don't really feel compelled to do at the moment. Shout out to Vinny Super G 123 and his Discord server. Without them, I probably wouldn't have even mustered up the will to make this video to talk to you guys in the first place. Go check him out. If you like my content, then you're probably gonna like Vinny's as well. Side note, his David Cage saga series with Schaeferny is probably like one of the best videos he's ever made, even though he fucking hates it, so check that out if you really want to. I'm just saying, it's kind of one of his best videos, and it deserves more recognition than it currently has, just uh... But I know, trust me, I know that a lot of you aren't here for a lot of the other stuff on my channel. A lot of you aren't fans of Homestuck, or of anime, or of cartoons. But, I will warn you right now that after This Is How You Don't Stream Skyward Sword is done, I'm not going to be doing any more of those videos. I've said before that I despise call-out culture on YouTube, and lately, that's sort of the reputation my channel has. And that's not a reputation that I'd really like to have going forward. I just want to make fun, weird, meme videos, and if that means more stuff like the TF2 The Great Depression video, or retrospectives on a topic I really enjoy, then those are the videos I'm going to make. I know that's not what a lot of you want to hear, but there are other YouTubers that cover these topics far better than I ever could. Like, seriously. Fucking Steak Bentley's videos? Just, just fucking- that, that's, that's the stuff that I wish I could do but I can't do that while constantly making call-out videos at other people. I mean, it's fun. Don't get me wrong, it's not that I don't enjoy doing it. It's just that those types of videos were created due to my passion for those things. And to be blunt, I've pretty much said all there is to say on either of those two topics. Really, the this is how you don't stream video is more of an obligation at this point, and that's something I kind of want to avoid going forward. I don't want a video to feel like an obligation. I want to feel happy making it, not feel like I have to make it because it's part of my job, which, again, it isn't. Those videos gained a lot of traction, but I didn't gain a single cent off of those videos. And as it stands, YouTube as a whole ain't sustainable. As of right now, this could obviously change in the future, I don't want to start looking at YouTube and my audience for profit. If doing these videos has taught me anything, it's that playing to the algorithm is a game you're destined to lose, no matter what. So for those of you who stuck around for the This Is How You Don't Plays, or Change the Channel, or whatever the case may be, then I'm sorry. If you want to leave, I understand. I at least hope my videos provided enough entertainment to make me feel worth your time. But to the rest of you guys who are deciding to stick around, well, what can you expect from the channel going forward? Well, I'm gonna make a few changes to how videos are being released. First off, no more release dates for larger videos. 
I'll tease them, but they're done when they're done. In that interim period, however, I am going to be making more content just so the channel doesn't completely stagnate and go dead for months. You'll be seeing videos that take less time to produce and maybe a few live streams on my Twitch channel, which if you haven't already, I suggest you check out. The link will be down in the description below, as well as a few more Let's Plays. I have a lot of games built up in my library and a lot of games that I've been dying to play, but I just haven't found the time to. That and I really don't want to play for an audience of like seven people, so if you want to support me elsewhere, go check them out. It'll hopefully be a lot of fun. I also want to try and finish up a lot of the leftover series that I left on the back burner because I was making the This Is How You Don't Play, so you'll be seeing those in the future as well too. Aside from that, I have a couple of ongoing projects that I'm working on outside of YouTube, including the aforementioned comics that I'm working on, A Cold Day in Hell and Metastuck, as well as storyboards and animations for a project that I can't exactly talk about yet. Yeah, that's right, that bit about animation in the About section? I didn't forget. That's still a thing. That never stopped being a thing. But again, time constraints. And I also have a Patreon now. Now, many of you might be asking, wait, Swizzly, why do you have a Patreon if you just said you weren't doing YouTube for the money? Yeah, I can answer that. You see, Patreon had this really stupid thing a while back where they would strip away features from any person signing up to Patreon in the future who didn't sign up before their new program was in place. Meaning if you weren't a legacy creator, you got none of the basic features that came with that. Some of which were essential to running a Patreon. There was this whole big controversy a while back, and if you want to look it up, go ahead, but that's a story for another time. The point is, it's there, I might change it in the future, in fact I probably and definitely going to change into the future, but if you want to sign up now, it's there. I mean, there's also a private Discord server if you donate, like, upwards of a dollar, but I'm probably going to end up making that public anyway. Aside from that, you can check me out on my Twitter, Reddit, DeviantArt, Tumblr, whatever other social media is out there, and all of them will be linked down in the description below. Guys, from the bottom of my heart, thank you all so much for the wait. Whether you're someone who's been supporting me from the beginning or came in due to the larger videos, I want to thank you all from the bottom of my heart for supporting me. This channel has reached over 1,500 subscribers, which is just insane. I know every YouTuber says this during this milestone, but I legitimately thought that I would never get this far. And I know it sounds hokey and cliche or whatever, but really, without you guys and without your comments and your words of encouragement and your words of detraction, I probably wouldn't even be making this update video. So again, thank you so much. You guys mean the world to me. For now though, new videos are on the way, so stay tuned for more updates. Take care everyone, have a wonderful rest of your week, and I'll see you all for whatever I plan next. See you guys. I can't tell you how to see me Just a cage of bones There's nothing inside